and today's video this is an unboxing of this keyboard by kbd craft now this is a keyboard company that i believe you get to put together your own keyboards and make them whichever way you want it looks to be a very interesting design one i would never have realized as a thing i like the fact that it's split it's it's cool i don't know what's in this i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know if i have to put this together or not but going by the way the parts are moving on the inside, I'm terrified. I'm allowed to be terrified. This is terrifying, okay? So, let's see. Low profile, 50% ergo split, building block keyboard. Oh, I'm, I'm terrified. Uh, I've never put together a keyboard before. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's, there's Lego pieces in here. That's interesting. I do really like this, though. I, this is, this is actually very nice looking. Wow. Uh, I'm a big believer on high quality cables. And, uh, I, I gotta admit, this is a very high quality cable. Feels good. It's built well. This is, this, this is nice. All right, I'm going to put that to the side over here, actually. Uh, again, I'm doing my best to figure this out. I just turned my microphone around. So there they are. There's the low profile keys. I wish I could adjust the white balance a little bit better on this. Everything's looking a bit yellow, but that's fine. I don't mind at all. I'll probably just uh, go in editing and color do this. But those are white keys. And there's a nice... Yeah, it looks like a, a nice quality key puller. Yeah. A little bit of... What is that? Is that rust right there? It looks like... I'd have to get that out to see. What is in you? Building block case. Low profile, pre-lubed KDB craft. So, whatever this is, it's pre-lubed. And I was digging in the dirt. Sorry about my nails. These are actual Lego blocks. Is this an, a fully Legoed? <laughs> this is a Lego keyboard. I will be doing the building of this keyboard in another video, but I just I just want to go over the fact of what's in the box. <laughs> oh wow! Hopefully, no soldering is needed because I don't have a soldering iron. Uh, and to depth charge. Interesting. I'm already freaked out. So this is a building block cases, uh, five point suspension, adaptive mount angle, genuine parts. Oh, there's just a ton of stuff in here. This is terrifying. So there they are, like the main boards for this. Jesus, I did not know what I was getting myself into when I agreed to this. But now that I know, I'm scared to death. These are both made out of metal by the feels of it. They're nice and cold. That's pretty cool. And there's an adhesive. So, yeah, there's something right here. There's a lot of this stuff in here. I'm putting this all back in here. Uh... So what's this all about? Sorry, I keep bumping the camera. Look at that. And then there's more adhesive. So pads. And there's more pads. Thankfully, there's an instruction manual. I'm going to put all of this back in here because I don't want to lose any of it. Even that. I really like that. That, uh. I'm going to have to reorganize this to make this better. There, I reorganized it. So there's your instruction manual. And let me read it to you while you look at the box. Okay? Because this is terrifying for me. Uh, use the fork to split the plate. Okay. Ensure the wires are aligned each time you push the switch. Complete the outer round first. Okay, so there's those black little things are stabilizers. 
and connect the PC Type 4 and PC Dummy 2 with a 14 pin wire. Okay. So we're building the case set of Legos, the housing. And then it says, uh, it, it basically it goes through everything, which is interesting. I mean, look at this. That is definitely, uh, that's definitely an interesting looking manual for sure. Bring in the core, place the wire into the reserved gaps. Yeah, there is a reserved gaps there. So it doesn't mention anything about soldering so far. That's the only thing I have. Insert the gas sticks, then insert the core. Finish with the top slopes. And what else? Uh, well, you can split it multiple different ways, which is cool. Let me show you that because that's kind of interesting. See that? There's a nice little split and there's a rubber feet. There's eight of them. And that's it. Interesting. And uh, open the browser, enter the thing. Vial is an open source configurator. All right. So it looks like this is via compatible or via like, but it does not mention anything about soldering. Okay. Which is nice because definitely don't want to be soldering anything. I'm not that type of guy. So this is going to be an interesting project to throw together and I'm kind of excited and I'm also kind of terrified. If you guys want me to do this as a live stream, it's going to be a bit difficult because um, the view is going to be from down. If you know what I mean, like, uh, and it's probably going to be a bit messy. Yeah, definitely would be very messy because I'd have to use my webcam for this. But if you want me to do a live stream, I can figure out how to do a live stream. I'll do it in a way that hopefully looks good and it's acceptable and I'll do my best. So this has just been the unboxing. Again, I have to build this thing and that's going to be pretty freaking interesting. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you're excited. If you <laughs> just are you as terrified as I am, I'm pretty terrified. I'm afraid I'm going to screw this up. I'm doing my best not to. This is a keyboard that is split in two to build out of Legos. Bye, everybody.